The Liberal Democrat conference is in chaos over, yes, you guessed it right, Brexit. Again. What a shambles. Welcome back to 2CTV. And yes, the party conference season is here. Are you excited like me? No. So, <laughs> first you've got the Liberal Democrats. And then in a few days' time uh, from, well, essentially next week, Sunday, we're going to have uh, the Conservative Party. And then, the following week, we're going to have the Labour Party. The interesting thing about this year is that uh, for the first time, uh, the, the Labour Party's conference is going to be after the Tories and the Labour conference is the last conference. Usually the last conference during the conference season is for the party of government. Seems like without even getting to the general election moment, which is next year, the whole system is ready for Labour to be in government. We have Keir Starmer hiring civil servants, uh, big businesses going behind the Labour Party. The conference schedule is changing, they say it's because of the contracts, but still, what a coincidence. So the whole system is getting ready for Labour as a government, but let's talk about these beauties, the Liberal Democrats. Oh, how cute, look at them. They're still a party somehow. And uh, Ed Davey is still in charge. And every, every, every now and then we have to remind ourselves that Ed Davey is a real human and the Liberal Democrats are a real party, allegedly. So there is a big problem right now because... <laughs> It's 2023, it's almost 2024, and they're still talking about Brexit. Now, Ed Davey and the leadership of the Lib Dems don't want to talk about Brexit because they want to win, but the membership want to talk about Brexit because they are Puritans. The idea is that uh, there's, <laughs> there's this movement, the, uh, the box of Brexit thing, hashtag we told you so, this is a new edition. It's like a new season. Hashtag we told you so because apparently Brexit has failed, right? And uh, the issue is that the Liberal Democrat leadership and Ed Davey now have a plan to target the blue wall and the Tory seats. Because obviously there's a correlation between Tories and Lib Dems. It's easier to convert Tories to Lib Dem or vice versa than Tories to Labour. Because Labour is socialist, Lib Dems are liberal. I'm not really sure exactly what they are these days, but they're supposed to be liberal. And, but the problem with this is that is now uh, the, the feud is even dividing the Remain activists in, Bro in, in Bournemouth with a pro-EU campaign group telling The Express, the newspaper, that they condemn fellow activists boasting, I told you so. Stickers have appeared at a coastal conference in a uh, luminous uh, yellow reading bollocks of Brexit hashtag I told you. I mean, what... Firstly, you're not a grown-up party, you're not a serious political party, and I feel bad, well, I don't really, but uh, objectively I feel sad for the uh, donors who've been giving money to the Liberal Democrats as a political party. Um, I mean, it's, it's their own decision, and clearly they have problems, but uh, <laughs> I still fat, I feel sad and embarrassed for them for wasting their money, giving money to these people who don't even know what they stand for anymore. The, the Liberal Democrats don't have a vision, at least in 2019, the Lib Dems were the party of Remain. Respect. At least they said, we don't like democracy. You knew where you stood with them. If you didn't like democracy, you vote for the Liberal Democrats. Right now, what do we do? If you, if you want to be a Liberal, do you vote for the Lib Dems? No, because they don't know what they stand for. You can't vote for the Labour Party because the Labour Party is, is basically a version of a liberal regressive. Uh, they're not even really socialists. They, they don't even know what they are. They are basically a a liberal corporatist party. Uh, they are the new Lib Tory party. The Tory party over the last 10, 15 years turned into a liberal green party. Now the, the Labour party is following what the Tories did. Everything is a mess. The whole political spectrum is a mess. But unfortunately, the majority of people in this country, even next election, are still going to be overwhelmingly voting Tory and Labour. Just wait for this. And yeah. Every election, people are going to be like, this is it. This is the election that no one's going to vote Labour or Tory. No, they're still going to do that. <laughs> uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your solutions. And apart from voting for Reform UK, <laughs> and let me know what you think. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.